All right, so we are on day 16 of the 25 days of Christmas. We made it, right? Nine days away from Christmas morning. And it's been a long month for me. Second video of today had some technical difficulties yesterday, but today we're gonna to be talking about embroidery companies and how you can market effectively to not only garner some leads, to maybe get some business here and during the holiday season, but drive and sustain loyalty for customers and marketplaces locally, nationally, whatever the case may be, moving forward, right? If you're gonna invest money in a commercial advertisement, major publication, anything, uh, you wanna make sure that it's got a strong message that people can latch onto and that it, it ties into your the brand experience, the brand value, the quality, all that stuff, culture, and it just makes sense and it's cohesive. So I'm sitting here thinking about an embroidery company. I'm thinking it's probably a, a pretty, uh, unique culture um you know when it comes to making stuff i don't know how to sew or stitch or you know i could probably put a button on or fix a zipper or something but you know i think it takes a lot of talent i've seen people work uh with uh, you know patches and just fixing stuff or putting sleeves on a jacket and it's and it's uh you know not something that's really easy that anybody could do so you got a bunch of talented people that are probably working on a team um that are that have different types of specialties from you know leather to cloth to patches to maybe plastics, I don't know, a Velcro, stuff like that, that you probably have quite the skill. Maybe have somebody that focuses more on the front end stuff, with, um, you know, detailing with the customer. Anyways, you have this team of, of an embroidery team. It's typically not just gonna be one person. It could be, but if you're gonna be doing a TV commercial, you probably got a team. So I'm sitting here thinking that during the holidays, you know, while everybody's shopping and, and going out to dinner or traveling or just enjoying other forms of entertainment, right? They're probably really bored. They're probably not very busy. Typically, you would think an embroidery company is really busy. You know, uh, <laughs> I don't really know. I really don't know. I'm, you know, sitting here thinking about maybe, you know, the spring during graduation uh, when, you know, Letterman jackets are coming out or maybe, maybe it, you know, maybe that's something that they, they could get business for during the holiday season or at the end of, you know, the first term of the school year, people getting a letter, letterman's jacket that maybe that's something that they get a lot of business from. I don't really know, though, but I'm, I'm going to assume that they're pretty bored during the holiday season. Not a lot of people coming in asking them to fix stuff uh, or sew something up for them or sew something on anything for that matter. And I'm really started to think that, you know, as far as coming up with gift ideas, it could be really cool to engage potential customers or customers that could potentially need some some work done on some apparel or something during the holiday season. And what about like something that's old or outdated that a grandma or an aunt or a girlfriend or wife or a boyfriend, whatever has, sister, um, that maybe means something to them that is maybe tearing or ripped or uh, you know falling apart that, man, what if you educated somebody that that could be a really good gift idea if you're really, you know, hung up on what, what you get somebody that what if you repaired one of their old uh, pieces of clothing or you made something for them, uh, that'd be really cool. So that's where I really started thinking with this strategy initially uh, here the last, you know, 10 minutes or so and really trying to figure out um, what it is that people want, uh, not only just in general, but during the winter, you know, so I'm thinking... Even uh, Christmas sweaters is probably a really, really big one. That'd be cool. I mean, if you're one of those people that go all out on like the Grinch sweaters with lights and, you know, reindeers and snowflakes all over it so that you can win those competitions with all your friends uh, while you get drunk. <laughs> or maybe you're going to church, maybe you're not getting drunk. But, um, you know, if, if you're that type of person, maybe you go all out. Maybe have somebody make you a custom sweater. Maybe that's something that you'd be interested in. Maybe... Uh, if you guys are re refurbishing some sweaters or something, you got some for sale as far as me talking to the embroidery companies. Like I'm treating you like you're my client now. Um, just coming up with ideas that, you know, maybe you could sell that type of stuff too. Uh, you know, there's all, you know, all different types of gift ideas. My point is that can come from embroidery. Um, even just, maybe I'm rambling, but just a jacket, that'd be cool. If I had a pre-focused jacket that said JT or Jordan or uh, president or something on right here on the, on the chest, that'd be cool. I mean, I would love that type of gift. Probably not something that I would want to spend a lot of money on myself, but um, I mean, somebody might. So uh, my point is not a lot of people think about this type of stuff when it comes to Christmas. You go to Walmart or you go to the store or you go to the jewelry store, right? 
uh, and you just get a bunch of random stuff maybe you go to bath and body works like i do sometimes get all the girls in my house the same thing right gift package it up you know put it under a tree make it look cute and stuff and you can never go wrong with that type of stuff but what if you just really got really creative really just got really <laughs> what if you got really creative with an em embroidery company and i would say that'd be a pretty good memory for somebody to have during christmas and it's rather unique so unique culture right talented group of people working together reaching somebody that doesn't know that they need embroidered materials but they need them right so um and then maybe even thinking further uh you know somebody wants to put together like if you're doing a play christmas play right or uh you know maybe you're like my wife's asked me to do this a couple of times is just get a Santa suit instead of going take a picture of Santa and just ho oh, oh, come come in the back door and pretend I'm Santa. And you know, it's a little bit more expensive than most people think. But if you got a Santa suit, uh, maybe you need it repaired. Maybe you want to make a Santa suit. Maybe you want to get, uh, you know, some outfits made for a play. That would be something probably just sitting here thinking that came to my mind that that might be something that would, that would tie in too. So anyways, we got all these lists of things, needs, potential needs that people probably have during the holiday season that could be extremely valuable and highly profitable, right? That's the key. It's not about fixing holes in socks or fixing holes in jeans or fixing grandpa's overall so he can go back out, uh, you know, play with the with the goats or whatever. <laughs> but, you know, that's those are little jobs that little things here and there that build your awareness that, you know, build the experience that get people in the door, but it's not really something that really cha-chings in, into the revenue stream. So you think about custom sweaters, you think about fixing uh, costumes, right? That's that's a lot of stuff. You think about custom gifts. You think about fix, fixing mementos or antique items that are really delicate. Um, you know, these are really high end items that that people need, that people have, right? That that could potentially come in and be an amazing gift idea. So I'm thinking, you know, as people are bored, they're sitting on the couch, maybe watching TV. Maybe they all got elves costumes on that they custom made themselves, right? That. They're all unique, all different, showing their personalities. Maybe they're just being really lazy because they have no energy because they're sitting there eating cookies, watching football or something on Thanksgiving Day, let's say. It started on Thanksgiving. We'll start the campaign on Thanksgiving. And they're bored. They don't have any business. And so the commercial is all about them just being bored. But then they start talking about all these different things that they could come in. And maybe they're not they're not as enthusiastic, right? They're, they're really not lazy people, but they're just like, oh, you know, yeah. Uh, driving home how bored they are we do this and we can do this and if you need a Santa costume why don't you try this and then maybe they change the channel man this game is really boring and they're like oh boring I'm bored the holidays are really boring here nobody comes in and we still are here though you know we want to be home with our families but we want to make this here's a custom sweater I made last year really cool right here's the custom sweater I made here I got this on here's this hat these elf ears that I made all of this Here's my Letterman's jacket from high school. I added some really cool details to it. It's not that big of a deal. It took me maybe a couple of hours, but you should, if you need something like this, you know, I don't know if that's the best strategy, but just initially thinking, trying to drive home that boredom, but, but they're vibrant. They're a vibrant group, creative group, talented group, but they don't have anything to do. And we want to try to create this, elicit this need or uh, this uh, problem that needs to be filled by, uh, by consumers to, to go see them. Right to go give them something to do to to connect the dots and say, man, I have this sitting in my closet or in my trunk or my chest that I've been sitting on this for a while. Uh, let me get this done and man, I I could give this to my daughter when she came home for Christmas. It would be so amazing. She's like, boom, that could be something that you see in a commercial or you see on social media in two weeks leading up to Christmas. That's relevant. You understand, and it it's it's uh yeah, like you're excited about it, right? You, you, you know, you're like, wow, I just got this really cool idea. So you have that initial first impression, even though you might be lazy and mopey and bored. Um, you know, people might say that's risky, but you're creating an impression. It's not that generic, not generic, but standard commercial of la, 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 la. You do this and do this and do this. You should do this. Buy this, buy this, buy this. It's just very personal. And it's showing the actual personalities of the people in the business and, um, you know, maybe they're humor, right? If they're humor, sarcastic people, um, either way, it doesn't matter because they're extremely talented and uh, that's what they're there for. And maybe you didn't know that they were there and now you can go get grandpa's overalls done before he comes home for Christmas. So those are all things I'm thinking, you know, throw it in the commercial, throw, throw uh, the slippers, maybe, 
you got some slippers, some socks, uh, you know, Santa suit, um, you know, you got a patch, uh, what else, uh, the Christmas sweaters, I think that's really all that I was thinking of, and then just the basic stuff, so you have somebody come and do something really special for Christmas, and they're willing to spend a lot of money, it's spending season, right, why wouldn't you want to get people to spend more money while they're eager to do that, you know, because it's only a season, and then, as you move forward, you have that experience, you have that commercial, you have genuine, humorous people that are engaging, fun to talk to, and extremely talented, so that when somebody needs something down the road, it's the first person they call. Uh, you may shop around, price stuff for embroidery, and then you're able to see that this experience is far better. Um, people are more talented and a lot more professional. And, you know, word of mouth, everybody knows it's it's not that big of a deal anymore, but word of mouth even guerrilla marketing uh, is just as effective now as it was back in the day. It's just a lot easier to push ideas online. Either way, what matters the most is the experience. If you're giving good qual, if you're giving a good quality product and the service is legit, then you can always expect you to come back. But you always have to initially engage them and tell them what you do and show them the value. Because a lot of times, just like pre-focus, a lot of people don't see the value and it's easier just to pay a marketer to, to jump right into your strategy and, and lean on them instead of making sure you're able to maximize your efforts. It could be easy to sew something up yourself, but if you knew somebody was there that does a really good job that you could trust, um, that's really cool to be a part of their culture that you could promote, that you could get behind, you're gonna do it too. So be purposeful with everything you do, guys, and always remember to pre-focus.